Welcome to Pep About TV. Here is the news read by Omo Ikayere. First, the headlines. Obaseke signs justice sector reform, Edo Development Building Control Bill, and two others. Discovery of 10 courts, Edo State Government assures investigation, orders autopsy. 2023 election, Federal High Court set up tax force for speedy hearing for pre election cases. Federal government owns contractors over 11 trillion naira, says Fashola. And Edo State government threatening economic relations with China. Those were the headlines, now the details. The Edo State governor, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, has signed into law four bills, including the bill for the establishment of the Edo State Justice Sector Reforms and the Edo State Development and Building Control Agency. Favor Percy Dubo completes the reports. All the bills signed into law by the governor, Mr. Godwin Oseke, were the bill to repeal the Criminal Code Law of 1916 and enact a law to provide rules on criminal conduct, regulate public order and connected purposes, repeal the Forestry Law of 1968 and enact a law to establish the Edo State Forestry Commission and provide for preservation, conservation of forests and various matters. Signing the bill into law at the government house in Benin City, the governor said, today is significant for us in Edo State as we have succeeded in a bold step to move to enact and revive laws in areas that we have not done for a century or half a century. The signing of the Edo Justice Sector Reform Law and the new criminal law for me is a watershed and a milestone. These reforms will help deal with issues in these sectors as it will improve coordination in judicial institutions. In the new law, the offense of rape has been strengthened to deal with the issues of rape and its diverse manifestations and other offenses have been added. The governor, however, noted that the building law would ensure that people stop indiscriminate erection of buildings without permission from relevant authorities in the state. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. The Edo state government has pledged to unravel the cause of death of 10 persons whose cause were discovered in Ibilu, Lakbese, a Kokwa local government area of Edo State. The Edo State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Neihai, gave the assurance while addressing newsmen after the weekly execution council meeting chaired by Governor Obaseki at the government house. Favor Percy Edubo completes the story. Describing the incident as saddening, the Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Neikare, said the government has ordered that an autopsy is carried out on the corpses to unravel circumstances surrounding the mysterious deaths. It will be recalled that the collaboration between the vigilante group, the hunters and police led to the discovery of corpses of 10 young men along bush paths at Ibilo Langpese, Akukwedo local government area of Edo State. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. As the 2023 general election draws nearer, the Federal High Court has set up a special tax force of judges for expedition sharing and determination of all pre election cases pending before it. Favor Percy Idubo completes the reports. A circular issued by the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, Justice John Shoho, said that the task force became necessary to designate a team of judges following the large volume of pre-election suits that have flooded the courts. According to the circular, judges who are members of the task force will suspend all regular cases in their respective courts due to the urgency of electoral cases which are time bound. The statement further stated that the judges will have four weeks to dispose of the pre-election cases. Favor Pesce Idubo 
tape about television. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has said the federal government owns contractors about 11 trillion naira for the constructions of various highways across the country and certificates of completion. Again, favor person Dubo completes the story. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola San, made this disclosure while defending the proposed budgets of his ministry in the 2023 appropriation bill. He revealed that the ministry has currently awarded about 1,642 highway contracts for 1.632 projects at a total sum of 10.395 trillion naira. Fashola, while appearing before the House of Representatives Committee on Works in Abuja on Tuesday, stated that the main challenge to high waste development in the country remains inadequate funding. The minister noted that as of today, the government is committed to highway contractors to the tune of about 10.4 trillion naira, while a total of about 765 billion are unpaid certificates for executed works. He also said that shortage of younger engineers and technical officers in the ministry as a result of embargo on employment is affecting efficient project supervision at the sites. He urged that more sources of funding of highway projects be explored as well as lifting embargoes on employment of needed hands to enhance supervision of projects. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. The Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Baseki, has said his government is strengthening and expanding economic relations with China to boost the inflow of investments into the state and to facilitate economic growth and development. Again, favor Percy Idubo completes the report. Governor Godwin Obaseke spoke at the dinner organized for the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Ku Jianchon, his wife, Mrs. Liang Huli Chong, and other members of his delegation at the government house in Benin City. Obaseke said, I thank the ambassador for the Chinese community's contribution to Edo State, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic as they helped to fight the scourge to a standstill. He said that Chinese community in Edo State has contributed to providing jobs, improving livelihood, and engendering economic development in various communities where they operate. On his part, the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Ku Jian Chan, commended the people of Edo State for their hospitality, love, and unity with the Chinese company in Edo State. Favor Percy Idubo, paid about television. And that report ends the size of our package for today on Pep About TV. My name is Omo Ikhayere. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.